Hi everybody, my name is Jim with Fullman Adventure Club, and today I'm going to be sharing my experience uh, that we had getting onto the ferry to go from Edmonds, Washington, over to Kingston. And uh, this cost $60, and when we went on their website, there really wasn't a lot of information about doing this uh, with a large vehicle like an RV, so I thought I'd share this experience with you guys and uh, maybe help you guys out. It's about 60 bucks to, to make the trip, and I'm going to go over how you get onto the ferry and then show us getting on and what the ferry ride itself is like. So without any further ado, let's get right into that right now. So here you can see pretty much the area where you're going to come into the Edmonds to Kingston Ferry. And I just want to show you guys that as you come down this big hill right here, when we did this, there were cars lined up all the way to here. And so we didn't even realize it and we drove past them. And that was a huge mistake because we had to circle around for like 35 minutes to get back to this point. You can see here's a little turnoff where you're supposed to have uh, the waiting lines so the ferry terminal lanes. And that goes right over here to the toll booth. And once we went through that, we ended up parking right here. And then you're just gonna go right over here and get on the ferry and you're off. You're gonna end up all the way across the pond over here to Apple Tree Cove in Kingston Road right here. That's where it drops you off. And from there, uh, that kind of led us to Port Angeles and uh, all that other fun stuff all around the coast over here. So I started the camera after we had pulled up. There was a cone laying in the road that I thought maybe it was a mistake, so we tried to get out of the uh, lane. Don't do that. This guy will yell at you. He yelled at us a lot for trying to go around the cone, so just stick put. Um, so they're going to let all the smaller traffic kind of go in front of you, the stuff that's easier to organize in there. There you can see our sister RV, the Ford Jamboree with the exact same color scheme and everything. And uh, then they finally gave us the go ahead to start going on board. Now, of course, they had accepted our $60 for this ferry ride across the pond and nobody seemed concerned. So that was fine. But when we were trying to figure out whether or not this is a viable option, there was kind of hard to figure out information on the website. And I, I also knew that the ramp that goes onto the ferry changes angles with the tides. High, high tide, low tide makes the angle different of the ramp. And that's what was concerning me because in RVs, if the ramp is too steep, uh, your rear end can drag or hang you up. And so that was just kind of one of the primary concerns that I had before we, you know, went on this trip. But everybody seemed like it was fine and uh, we just kind of went. Everybody in line is kind of bossy. They do this all day and they have no time or patience for you. You just They just yell at you to do whatever they want and you need to do it as fast as you possibly can. <laughs> but pretty simple procedure. You can see we're heading towards the ferry now, towards the loading ramp. And once we get to the ramp, I'll kind of show you what I meant. You know, if it was low tide, it was high tide now. So the ramp was really level. We're coming onto the ramp right now. This is actually the movable ramp. So you come on here and then that, according to the tide, is going to be at different angles. But I guess if it's low tide and you're having a problem or you're dragging, they can't adjust the other side of the ramp. I'm sure it'd be a huge pain in the butt and they would all yell at you for making them do it. But uh, they can do that. So, I mean, they do semi trucks and all kinds of stuff on this. So it really shouldn't be a big deal. And once I had done it, I was like, oh, okay, this is absolutely not a problem. No big deal. You can see this little bump right here is kind of what I was worried about coming onto the ferry, but at that angle, there was really no problem, no issues whatsoever. And they're going to ferry me over into the left-hand lane and he's going to tell me to get as close as I can to the wall. So I did. I mean, my mirror is like almost scraping paint on this guy, but we're going to end up parking right behind our uh, sister Jamboree right there. And this guy's going to guide us into place. And it's just, it's, it's an, it's an experience. It's pretty surreal. We really had a good time. And once we were actually on the ferry, you know, we were really stoked about it because it did take us four hours of kind of planning it out and figuring everything out and calling and trying to figure out if you can get our V's on there. And the website just wasn't a lot of help. So we were very excited. And here I'm going to flip it around. You can see our little, we made it high five, which is coming up here in just a second. And... Yeah, there it is. All right. <laughs> and so we successfully made it onto the ferry and now you're welcome to get out 
and uh, go check some stuff out. So let's switch to some of that footage. Once you're out of the RV, you can walk along the top deck and check out the views. They have lots and lots of room on this guy. Lots of little uh, outcroppings and places to stand so you can kind of check things out, take pictures, all that good stuff. And it moves at a very fast clip. I mean, we were definitely booking it across this bay right here. And once you come inside, you can see they have temperature controlled area they have food service they have bathrooms they have everything and here at the end is my beautiful lady and we all right so that's it it was actually very very easy and very very cool it's quite the experience to take your rv on a boat across the ocean so that was kind of a neat experience for us and uh, i hope that helps you out if you guys are trying to do something similar so my name is jim with Fullmoon adventure club if you like this video please like share subscribe that really helps us out and until the next video thanks so much for watching and happy camping